He's going to use me. He's going to use all his children that will be usable. Some won't allow that. Some will rebel. But others will want to be used of God. And we just want to learn how to do it, don't we? Just want to learn how to let God use us. And so we recognize that there is a heavenly vision. It's the work of Christ. He came to undo the works of the devil. Now, I personally think uh, that because I had the background I had, that I have more faith in the area of demonic deliverance and some addictions. You've had experiences yourself. You've been delivered out of them. So therefore, that's going to be a strong point of faith for you because you know the power of God in your circumstance, don't you? See, that's a key. I know the power of God in my circumstance. So I just think God can do anything. Because if he could save me, I figure he can save anybody. <laughs> I mean, really. I, I just, I have faith that God can save anybody. He can, he can do anything. And he can deliver anybody. And so uh, when we think about what he's done for us, it builds our faith in what he can do for someone else. And somebody else might say to you, well, do you think God, God would help me? Look at me. And you can say, oh, you don't, you haven't seen nothing, right? Then you tell them, how about your life? And they, they don't believe you because they're looking at you now. But the truth of it is, that's the way you were. It's not the way you are now, and that's quite obvious. That's what makes your testimony so powerful. See, a lot of times in the world, if we've done bad things, we don't want to tell people for the most part. We hide it, right? We don't want, we're not going to brag about what we did or anything like that. Sometimes people do, but most of the part, we, we're ashamed if we still have some conscience left and we don't think about those, we don't want to talk about those things but when we're trying to be somebody else. But the key is, in Christ, we already are somebody else. And that is the strength of the change that he made in our life. We don't brag on what we were. We brag on Christ because he brought us out of it. We tell what we did, but you know what? We tell it because look at me now. I know I've not had a drink since 1973. The day I got born again, I never had another drink of liquor. I never had another cigarette since the morning afterwards. I mean, God did a great work in my life. You can all, everybody can say that in one way or another. Whatever God has done for us, it's a great work. And that empowers us to do God's work because we have a testimony. God's work is to tell it. All right, let's look at Mark 16. Mark 16, 16 through 20. Well, let's start with 15, because this is, this is what, this is the direction that God has given, gave to his disciples. He said to them, go into all the world and preach and publish openly the good news, the gospel, to every creature of the whole human race. Well, that's just what we're talking about. Giving our testimony, talking about Jesus and the power of God. He who believes who adheres to and trusts in and relies on the gospel and him whom it sets forth and is baptized will be saved from the penalty of eternal death that he who does not believe who does not adhere to and trust in and rely on the gospel and him who it sets forth will be condemned now I'm a believer you're a believer you're a believer we are believers, right? We're all believers. And this is a key to it. We will be saved. And these, verse 17, attesting signs will accompany those who believe. All right, we're already qualified to have these signs following us and accompanying us because we're believers. He says, in my name, what name is that? In the name of Jesus. They will drive out demons. 
Well, that's what happened to me. This woman prayed for me over the phone. Back then, she was just a girl like I was. And she prayed for me over the phone. And she rebuked that demon, and it came out of me on the telephone. Now, is that, how much power does the devil have if he can get rebuked on the telephone? You know what I'm thinking? I didn't have to have hands laid on me. It was just on the telephone. Demon left. In the name of Jesus. In my name. They will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. All right? We pray in a new language. We pray in tongues. They will pick up serpents. This word for serpents uh, means a satanus, meaning the devil, demonic, satanic things. We can pick them up, and even if we drink anything deadly by accident, it won't hurt us. So we have power over things we cannot control in the name of Jesus. That's one good reason to bless your food. Right? Bless your food before you eat it. So I've been places in the world that I wouldn't want to eat my food if I didn't bless it. I wasn't even sure I should be eating it then, right? Okay? They will lay their hands on the sick and they will get well. And it's so awesome to me. Lay hands on the sick and they will get well. Drive out demons. That changes people's lives. I mean, it brings them release from bondages. And so then, the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven, and he sat down at the right hand of God. And they went out, the disciples went out and preached everywhere. Preached was that what they were doing. They were telling openly the good news of the gospel to every human creature. They went out and preached everywhere while the Lord kept working with them and confirming the message by the attesting signs and miracles that closely accompanied it. Amen, so be it. So what does this mean? This means that these signs follow those who believe. And if we preach and tell the good news of the gospel, God will work with us. The Spirit of God will work with us. The Holy Spirit will bring these working, it says working with them and confirming the message by the attesting signs and miracles that closely accompany it. So, if we lay hands on the sick and they get healed, that's God working with us because we preach the gospel. He works with us, He heals people, and it's a sign and a wonder to them that God is real. You understand that? And so, but the whole key is, it can be you. It doesn't have to be me. It can be you. I sat for years and wanted it to be me. And I kept practicing. Every so often somebody would tell me they had a headache. I'm a believer. These signs follow those that believe. I lay hands on them. Let me pray for you. And they got healed. I did that to my brother once. He came in with a migraine. <laughs> and he was telling, ah, oh, this migraine is terrible. My brother still hasn't been born again that I know of. But I stood up from my desk, because we were in business together, and I said, oh, let me pray for you. And he was like, back off, you know, like we had turned into these widows, right? And I'm like, no, let me pray for you. What do you got to lose? Well, all right. So I prayed for him. And you know what? <laughs> His headache was healed just like that. He shook his head, he got confused, and he just sort of staggered out the, the door back into the shop. 